pardon the mess, but we are starting the video now, and if we're successful, it will continue today. If not, it will continue tomorrow. Hopefully we are successful, and it continues today. But what we are going to do is go to UPS, because they were supposed to, oh, call me, and oh, I exit him, oh, no, they didn't go, we belt on the ground, Louis, more Louis, bad financial decisions, don't be like me, granted, I got them for such a low price that I can sell them and either make my money back or make a little profit, so you have to be like me in that aspect, but if you're just going to buy them, like, especially retail, if you got it, cool if you don't don't do it you cannot make this up so you guys see the truck is right there ups because i was like it's the end of the day and it's actually after hours as well it's 8 10 but yeah like, <laughs> so i guess the video is successful I'm actually about to go buy a scratch ticket because the chances of this happening and the dude forgetting a package and me about to be home from UPS right before they're done is crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna think of a number, probably a number relative to this. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to the unboxing. All right, so I did what I said. I bought some scratch tickets because I knew my luck was going to be good. And unfortunately, I lost on two. This one, I got a 50x. So even if it's 50x, $1, I won some kind of money. So let's scratch this one and see what is X'd by 50. Look at that. I won 70 bucks because it's X50. So I won 100 on that one. So look at that, my lucky day. And hopefully this does not screw my RNG for the other two things that I'm trying to win, but no, the thing go dog, money I feel make. Let me cash this one in. And just like that, dub. So let's throw this back in the account and then unbox the coilovers. Yeah, and then it shows that the um, spring rates to the rear and the front are actually pretty light. So I have another box coming tomorrow, which are the springs. So I can actually get some decent, uh, what do you call it out of here? Some decent performance out of them. So this is something over here, some stickers. Boom, bling blow. So, easy part about the rears, they're a divorce setup. And it actually does look like they're progressive, and I do think I see some, uh, what do you call it in there? Some bump stops, so that's good. But uh, let's just make sure. The yeah, NW07 to 13, X5, X6, all wheel drive, E70, 71 Perfect. So, you guys see here are the fronts. Um, and then there's also the rears. Oh no, this is the front, and then the rear struts are down here. So, um, uh, yeah, so the bump stops are in. Wait, are they in the spring or is it in here? I can't. Sorry if that was horrible recording. Oh no, so the bump stops are here. There is something inside of the spring which I don't know what they are, but yeah. But anyhow, boom, we have that. So 
that's pretty much the unboxing of the BC coilovers. And it's funny because the last time I did an unboxing of BC coilovers, it was for the E53 X5. Um, another thing I'm also considering is depending, well, the car should be back hopefully this week. We're going to stop by Thursday anyway, but the car should be back hopefully this week. And if it's back this week, or if it's not even Thursday or tomorrow, whenever it's done, we'll uh, install these. Not tomorrow, but like Thursday, because Thursday is my day off. So um, hopefully, sorry, it's super dark. But um, yeah, so if there, if it's if I have it back Thursday, we'll install it Thursday. If it's on Friday, we'll install them Saturday. But there is a import expo at Gillette and we're going to go there regardless of if the car is done or not if it's not done that's going to be annoying but I do have plans for a video at Import Expo I already set that up so at least I'll be going there just as a spectator and to do some research um, and also if it's not done the video will make sense and that research will decide what I do with these coilovers whether that be I keep them as coilovers and just either run the stiffer springs or I convert them to bags because again a bag X5M is like my dream car to have not dream car to have but my dream setup for an X5M so that'll be super cool and doing the rears easy doing the fronts still pretty easy because you just uh, twist the bags down just like it'll be a set of springs attach the management stuff and the airlines and boom and again like since the x5m or all bmws have the battery in the back and everything wiring is super easy um i could just wire wire it the ignition switch thingy to any of the uh, cigarette lighters in the back and that's the power on and it's not a constant so like it's literally just so easy to do so yeah we'll we'll decide and um, um most likely we'll run like the airlines under the car um yeah so it'll be super 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 easy to do um yeah so yeah thanks for watching like comment and subscribe this was just a super fast video because it was just unboxing the coilovers and making sure it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't and it do what it do and it did and it gave and whatever else y'all be saying these days so yeah we'll uh get the car sorted then we will get the uh what do you call it and then we'll get the suspension setup sorted and then yeah actually before i end the video i don't remember if i showed these parts but if i did then i did if i didn't then you see them again so give me a second also really don't remember if i recorded this so yeah boom one dual port blow off valve and another so there's that <coughs> bless you